Hi, my name is Nossa. I'm showing my short film Elsewhere here. It's a 17 minute short film about a young girl who's in charge for a woman who is sick, um, who has multiple sclerosis and um, she cannot talk and lies all day in bed and the protagonist, the young woman, um, should care for her but um, at a certain point in the night she goes out to party and um, leaves her responsibility which she later regrets. We're here at the Exposed Film Festival Berlin together with Nossa Schäfer, the director of the movie Elsewhere, Woanders. Nossa, welcome. Thanks. <laughs> How did you get the idea to your movie? Um, I was working myself in that field um, for a while and um, I don't know, for I, it was like spinning the idea of a worst case scenario. What would be the worst case for this person being sick and not able to move or to speak um, if the person in charge for her um, would leave and that's how I fantasized the movie about it. Mm. Well, I had the feeling it was a movie about responsibilities mainly. The responsibilities of the young girl. Was, was that one of the ideas behind yeah, it? The, uh, yes, definitely. It was um, the responsibility which is um, which is also quite big for her and um, it's, um, I mean, I think this work, um, the, the responsibility people get there is um, kind of enormous and maybe you tend to forget that and yeah, and she's, and she's quite young and obviously not uh, able to deal with it. Mm. At the same time, I thought it was very easy to understand her as well, that, that she is very young, mm. that she mm. wants to live and at the same time she is with this person who cannot get mm. up anymore, who is completely relying on someone else. And I like that there was this big difference between these two people, like they were from two extremes. Um, yes, <laughs> I mean that, that's, um, that was also one of the ideas to have these um, drastic contrast between them, like young, old, and um, mobile, immobile, and um, yeah, I mean. Sure. Would you say that it is important for the, for the plot that the young girl meets another girl at a club? Um, no, I mean, actually not, but um, why I put it like that is um, because I want to see more queer people in movies and it doesn't have to be always the, the main focus but I just want to have it as a given. Yeah. Would you call your movie a queer movie? Mm, in a way, yes. <laughs> okay. Why? What, what is queer about the movie? Um, well, I think just also because um, the protagonist is um, is queer or is maybe yeah is queer you cannot say if she's a lesbian or but she's like young trying out things and yeah where did you find your protagonists um, in a um, agency uh, I I wrote to several agencies and yeah <laughs> and was this your first movie it was your third movie right yeah yeah and do you have any upcoming movies? Do you have any plans for the next projects? Um, yeah, I want to do a short film this summer, a very short film, um, like five minutes. Mm -hmm. And, um, well, this movie is set in Berlin. Mm -hmm. um, you, can, you know this from the places that the girl went to. Would you say that this is a very Berlin movie? Did you try to catch the atmosphere of Berlin somehow? Um, yes. I think, I mean, because I, it, it's definitely set in a big city where you um, have a lot of possibilities um, to experience yourself and so that's why I chose names um, of locations which really exist. Yeah. But would you at the same time say that it is something universal that is expressed in the movie? Or is it very, very typical for the city? Um, I mean, universal regarding the, 
the working conditions in a lot of Western countries, for sure. <laughs> and also the, the feelings or the feeling of the young girl? Um, I guess so. I mean, to say universal is... I, I would rather only talk for the Western countries, I guess. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. And, um, well, the, the woman in band, we don't really learn much about her. We only know that she is mm -hmm. bound to the band. Is there a story behind that? Like, did, when you develop the, the plot for the movie, yeah. what, um, what is her condition? What is the condition she is in? Why is she there? Yeah, I mean, the backstory of her is that she got MS, multiple sclerosis, mm -hmm. and that's a sickness where you slowly get worse and worse. So. You also see uh, in the movie a photo of her when she was still in a better condition. That's to show that uh, her sickness is gradually mm. worsening. Is, is this a very personal movie for you? Um, yes, but not like that a little bit maybe. It's not like a personal, personal story. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, Personal in the way that I also worked in this field, but yeah, not not more. Yeah. Okay. And the next movie you're doing is that also a queer movie? Um, no, but it deals with uh, with gender roles and expectations of how girls and boys have to behave. Okay. Well, that sounds quite <laughs> queer to me as yeah. well, or ex yeah. exploring the fields. Yeah, yeah. How are you enjoying the Exposed Queer Film Festival so far? Um, very much. <laughs> it was yesterday at the opening and I liked all the films a lot. And are you going to watch more? Um, yes, I'm going to watch uh, Appropriate Behaviour on Sunday. Mm -hmm. That's for sure, yeah. All right, well then I wish you a lot of fun at the festival. And Thanks. thank you very much for the interview. Thanks. <laughs>